Once a year we get together and we get our horses cleaned up and we enter the Memorial Day Parade and at Shreve to show our respects for the ones who lost their lives for our country and for our freedom. We try to make our horses just as slick and shiny as we can possibly make them. This is Doc here and what's interesting to me is once we bring him into town, they seem to sense what's going to happen. They know they'll be going down the parade route with their best clothes on and their heads held high and they'll be performing for them. To get ready for the parade, we we'll probably spend two or three days before the parade uh, getting them trimmed and washed and the harness cleaned. Of course, we have to work them and make sure that they got all the bugs out and they're ready to go. We have to get this tassel on it. It has to get on there just right. He's holding still for me. That's a good thing. Well, we're about ready to take him to the wagon. Okay, I think they're all set to go, so we're going to take him over to the wagon and get him hitched. That's my son here helping. He and I have the same hairstyle, and we both have that boyish physique. Now we're all set, and we have to get in line for the parade. Here comes the Triway Titan Marching Band. We're so happy they decided to come each year and perform for us. The flute player with the sunglasses is actually my granddaughter, Hannah. Some of the farmers bring their pride and joy equipment from yesteryear. These people look familiar. I think it must be Farmer Bob with his girls. You always feel good when the parade is over. You've done your part, and the horses have done their part. Now it's time to put everything away and then it's also time for a family picnic. My grandson Clay, he's helping me take the bridle off. He's a handy guy to have around. <laughs> 